Nigerian military imposes curfew as ISWAP terrorists again attack Bronu community. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. An intelligence source said that the Nigerian troops have remained vigilant and combat ready haven't gotten information on movements of terrorists in some villages. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian military has imposed a curfew in Askiria, Uba and its environs in Bruno State as troops repelled another attack in the Axis. According to PR Nigeria, ISWAP fighters on Monday launched an attack on Dili, which was safely repaired by the combined effort of air tax force and ground troops. Dili is a village in Lhasa under Askira, Askira Uba, local government area of Bruno State. An intelligence source said the Nigerian troops have remained vigilant and combat ready, having got information on the movements of terrorists in some villages. We got intelligence that ISWAP fighters were moving towards a bridge east of Wamdu and Romegu villages in Askira, Uba province. We repelled the attempts today at a remote village under Dili, called Dili on the Lhasa. We are not taking chances and we are in combat ready to deal with them, the source said. This is coming a few days after ISWAP fighters engaged the troops at a military base in Askira in a gun battle. Sahara reporters report, had reported that some civilians said they sighted the terrorists in a long convoy of gun trucks along Ngude Axis towards Askira. The civilians added that they reported the movement of the terrorists to security forces, but no action was taken before the group the deadly group stormed Askira towns Askira town hours later. Hours after the incident, the Director of Army Public Relations, Onye Mamwachiko, in a statement, said the Brigadier General and three other soldiers were killed. While he identified a slain officer as Zama Zukusu, the Army spokesperson was silent on the identities of the junior officers killed. However, ISWAP, in a statement released on Sunday night, claimed 17 soldiers were killed. According to the group, 13 soldiers were killed when its fighters attacked troops at a military base in Askira town, while four others, including Brigadier General Zikos, was killed during an ambush at Bulgoma, a few, a few kilometers away from Askira. ISWAP added that it raised down the military camp, a four-wheel vehicle and another armored vehicle packed inside the base. The militants, the militants also said another vehicle, a tank, different weapons and ammunition were captured during the incident. Now, imposing a curfew, I did not know how effective this would be. Sincerely, I did not know how to ease the sufferings of the people that, is, uh, that are in Bronu states now. In short, Bronu, Bronu, Bronu has been... Sincerely, Bonu has been battered. People living in Bonu, ha, ah, no, 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 no. For a very long time, they have all. Oh, we have continued to head. Today, if it is one local government, another day it is another local government. Bonu keep witnessing attack. If it is not Bonu, it is Meduguri. You know, you keep hearing. I mean, those people there. Ha! Ah, the Lord is your strength, oh. Sincerely, I don't know how effective this would be now, imposing curfew. Imposing curfew now, I don't know how. Of course, these people, they can do anything they want anytime. It is seeming like right now that there is no one to come to these people's rescue because the federal government has continued to prove against all odds that they cannot protect these people. That is why, I mean, information getting to us was that um, in some communities in Sokoto State, that um, this um, so-called bandits now, not even a swap, that this so-called bandits, some of the terrorists, that they captured these com communities and have imposed paying of tax on these people. That they pay tax and one other duty like that. I've really, I've not, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure the name of that particular duty they pay. That these people pay, and in that report, it was said that they are happy. Why? Because they are paying and they are sure that these people will not attack them. That since they have been paying, that they have not been having attacked. That these people are even telling them to go to farms. 
But other terrorists will come and tell them, no, they're not going anywhere. If you go to farm, they kill. In fact, they kill them without even discussion. And that since the government has refused to come and step into the matter and, you know, get things done with or help them or come to their rescue, that they were happy to pay because it is, only the, it is the only way of which they're safe. I mean, imagine a, a citizen of Nigeria saying they have lost hope in the government. And somebody will come out and tell me how this administration is fighting the security tooth nail. He's doing all he can when indeed he's doing little or nothing. Recently, a statement was released by, I think, GATE Gate, calling Nigeria, you know, calling out many, many people who are in the powerhouse, calling them sponsors of terrorism. They came out and they delayed the allegation. The allegation is first. The thing is Nigeria knows. Tell me what you call the government who negotiates and dialogue with bandits, pays ransom to them, and yet refuse to call for negotiation and dialogue with freedom fighters. Tell me what sort of government does that. Tell me a government that is quick to always come out and send condolences, but it is not quick to come out to suggest strategies by which the insecurity issue is dealt with. Tell me a government where there was a massacre and they came out and said everything was changed until recently it was proved beyond reasonable doubt that indeed there was a massacre in Lekki Togit. Tell me a government that only allow policies that only, I mean, favors them and them alone and the policies that will help the good citizens of Nigeria are not put into consideration. Tell me of a government, tell me of a government that comes out and throws its weight behind Fulani herdsmen who go about killing people, saying that these people should sue those governments or those state governors that signed an open a grazing bill into law. Tell me of a government that came out and, you know, everything that the youth of this particular country does to make them stand out, to make them make a difference, to make them make a living, they come out and crush it with their policies. Tell me of a government that a particular deputy commissioner of police was accused of fraud and nothing has been said on it. They are trying to cover it up. Show me a government that the Attorney General of the Federation is facing many allegations and accusations. On a daily basis, it keeps increasing. And yet, the executive and the legislative body looks away. It is only in Nigeria that you see these things. And I keep asking myself, people that still come out and call this administration good, I hope this kind of good befalls you. On this note, you have come, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.